Hi, this is Debbie, and today I'm taking a look at the new gene release from Neat and Tangled, which consists of four stamp sets, an individual die, two stencils, and a pack of sequins. Starting with the stamp sets, and we have three 4x6 stamp sets Bloom with matching dies, Beach Day with matching dies, and Welcome Home again with matching dies. Then we have one 3x4 set, Flamingo Floaty, with matching dies. There's one standalone die, Exploding Blocks, and then two stencils, Rice Paddies and Exploding box. Finally, the sequin pack for this month is called Sherbet. Let's take a closer look at each new product, starting with a 4x6 Bloom set. The set has two beautiful large sentiments, as well as a lovely floral image with a flourish baseline, and in addition, individual flowers, leaves and flourishes too. I've placed a piece of white card in the Minga Misty and then stamped the floral flourish a couple of times with intense black ink to get a really good impression. And then I've also done the same with the individual flowers and leaves too. I've used a pair of tin snips to cut the nubs attaching the dies together and then lined the coordinating dies over their paired images and kept in place with washi before running through my big shot machine to die cut. I love the sentiments in this set and how the words and letters fit together. I chose the Bloom Where You Are Planted sentiment and stamped it in black on a white panel. I can imagine using this set with the sentiment stamped onto a softly ink blended background with a floral flourish nestling under the sentiment and the individual flowers and leaves dotted around. OK, so I'm moving on to the 4x6 Beach Day set now. This set is packed with fun critters and summer icons. I stamped a collection of the images from the set in intense black ink and then die cut with their matching dyes. Here's a card I made with this cute set that I'll be sharing on the Neat and Tangle blog next week, but I thought you'd enjoy a sneak peek of it today. I copied colour of the three animals from the set and added a coat of glossy accents here and there. I mounted the critters on a lightly ink blended panel and I also used the rice paddy stencil to give a hint of water to the background. The unique Welcome Home set has a large sign image, a collection of sentiments to add to the sign and a couple of icons too. I stamped the sign in the intense black ink and then added the house icon in clementine ink with one of the relevant sentiments stamped in black over the top. I like this so much that I also tried out the stalk image in rosy cheeks ink with a coordinating sentiment stamped on the sign crossbar and then the stalk royalty sentiment in black over the top of the stalk icon. This set has a matching die which I held in place with washi and then ran through my die cutting machine. Moving on to the last of the stamp sets with the cutest can be 3x4 flamingo floaty set I stamped the image on white card with intense black ink and then die cut with the matching die. I love the rice paddy stencil and I think it's the perfect partner for the flamingo floaty set. The rice paddy stencil represents an overhead view of the shapes of the flooded rice fields, but also looks great as water or other organic patterns. I used a Ranger ink blender to dab Lake Shores ink into the corner of a white piece of card and then this makes the perfect background for the little girl on her flamingo floaty. Here's a look at the card I made. I copied coloured the flamingo floaty image and then added stickles to the wing and beak as well as to some of the areas of the rice paddy stencil. There's one individual die in the June release, the Exploding Blocks cover plate, and there's also a matching Exploding Blocks stencil too. This design reminds me of an overhead view of a road through a city of skyscrapers. I've die cut the Exploding Blocks stencil from black card and I think the dramatic design would work well over a brightly coloured pattern paper or watercolour. If you were feeling patient, I also think the individual blocks would look great cut from lots of scraps of pattern paper and then pieced back together. For the stencil, I thought the explosion of blocks would look great with the colour radiating out from the stencil centre. I chose a colourway of hot lips, clementine and lemon zing and you could even extend the colours to include the whole of the rainbow. I think this background would look great with a bold stamped or die cut sentiment. Finally, the sequins for this month are called Sherbet and are a combination of peach, yellow and iridescent sequins in several sizes. I used a couple of sequins on my flamingo floaty card and as I was looking at the colours sprinkled on my grid mat, thought that they turned well with the exploding block stencil background. That concludes my look at the new Neat and Tangle June release. I'll leave links in the YouTube description below to the products that I've used today, as well as a link to the coordinating blog post over at lionduda.design.com. I want to thank you for joining me today and if you've enjoyed this video I'd be delighted if you'd subscribe to this channel. Thanks and I'll see you next time.